What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the first teaser from the Grounded 1.3 update yet again, uh, and go over some smaller details that I think a lot of people missed, uh, including myself. I didn't really mention these in the initial video, and I thought I would go over this just quickly again to show you some of these details a little bit closer. This is being recorded on Wednesday morning. I don't know if there's a dev stream tonight or there'll be any new teasers. If there is, I'll make sure to also put that in this video. So make sure you stay tuned for later in the video as I'll probably put that towards the end. Right, so we've seen this teaser before a million times. Uh, I'll show it again. He walks out, there's a baseball. He turns to the right, another baseball magically appears. Uh, it slightly rotates, which I don't think is intentional. Um, and then a bunch of new other stuff just spawns in uh, and then he pulls out this and he goes up and he moves the stuff around. Now, the first thing I want to point out in this trailer is this. Um, what does this remind you of in Grounded? And the first thing this reminds me of is the Handy Nat. All these objects magically spawn around him, but in order to control or to do anything with these objects, he has to pull out... Uh, his repair tool and put on the helmet like he doesn't equip those though They both appear at the same time which is very similar to the handy gnat where it just has both of those things So I think this is gonna be a new function um, That you will do you'll open up your build wheel and similar to how you can activate the handy gnat at the bottom of the screen There'll be a new bind where you can activate builder Bob or designing Darren or creative uh, Carson, I don't know what his name's gonna be, but essentially it's a new uh, mode that you're gonna go into uh, and this is going to allow you to manipulate your surroundings and spawn in new objects, I think. Um, so that's why he pulls out these items. And then you'll notice also when he moves the baseball right here, if you look very closely in the center here, you can see a rotation uh, sort of thing. So it's not just moving the objects around. You can also rotate them to any orientation that you want, which is pretty cool. Um, you can rotate it on all three axes by the looks of it. I don't know how that control is going to be working. That's going to be really, really confusing, let me tell you right now. Um, but it'll be very, very useful. You can have them at any rotation you want, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's also worth pointing out here, the Sour Candy Rocket is closed. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's any closed Sour Candy Rockets on the map. Um, there's only two that I can think of, and both of them are open, and you can go inside and collect the Sour Candy. So maybe there's different variations of the items, or you can choose to open the lids as much as you want. I'm not too sure here, but this is slightly different um, than the ones that you find across the map, which I thought was interesting. And then obviously he moves the baseball. You've got charcoal in the back there as well, uh, which I don't know if I pointed that out in the first video, but it's essentially, it means it's not only resources. Uh, or it's not only objects you can place, it's also resource nodes like charcoal, like mints, which are also in the video, uh, which again is pretty cool and pretty useful for custom map makers. Uh, and then they give us the date, which uh, again isn't too important. For our next piece of information, we move over to Twitter right here for the grounded tweet, which says, prepare for an unexpected twist. On November 13th, the Grounded team is towing the tables and introducing an entirely new way to adventure in the backyard. Keep an eye on our socials for all the latest news as the weeks fly by. Now, I think it could just be the choice of words here, but I feel like they didn't need to say as the weeks fly by. I think fly is a very specific choice of word here, and it could mean a couple of things. The first, it probably means, my guess is that it means, you will have the ability to fly in this creative mode as well, which would make a lot of sense. It'd be very useful. Uh, it would kind of make the handy nat a little bit less useful, um, but I think it would be a useful effect to be able to fly around in creative mode, kind of similar to Minecraft, where you can just take off, um, make things a lot easier to build, essentially. Uh, the other thing it could mean is they're also introducing flies as a creature to the game. I think this is a lot less likely, but you never know. Sometimes you have to dissect even the, the slightest of word choices um, for little hints and little teasers. The next thing they did was they replied to their own tweet. They quote teetered their own tweet and they said, Did you see the new Grounded A New Way to Play teaser from last week? Now, I found this very interesting. They put it in quotation marks. I think this is the name of the update. I think the next update is going to be called 1.3 A New Way to Play, which is a good and a bad thing because this might mean that it is just creative mode in the update. And I know a lot of people would be really disappointed by that, but it could also mean there's a lot more to the update in within this creative mode. Other than just placing and moving objects, it could be a really in-depth creative mode with a, a way to share your worlds other than just the shared world, like a, a 
like a way to share worlds via some sort of downloadable page in the game um cross platform all that sort of stuff so this is a really interesting quotation here i feel like this is actually going to be the name of the update uh, and it's going to be very creative focused update by the sounds of it calling it a new way to play could also mean there is some sort of new game mode inside of the game other than just the main like story survival mode i think that's a bit less likely but it sounds like they're very heavy focused on uh, the creative aspect of this next update Next up, I wanted to congratulate the winners of the Sign Art Contest. Uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, winner here, Aaron C. I do believe his name is. There it is right there. Uh, he drew a very, very cool looking director Schmechter image, which uh, is very, very nice. Uh, and then also the runners up as well. Um, they drew a very cool looking burgle. You can't see the full thing because it's a bit zoomed in here. This one is uh, Dr. Tully. Uh, this one is also Dr. Tully, but a bit more raisin. Uh, and this one is some heel basses. Uh, again, you can't see them because my thing's a bit zoomed in. Uh, my apologies for that. But yeah, congratulations to all five of the winners. This one will be in the game uh, as of the next update. So this will be very cool. We'll be uh, hanging this up in our world for sure. Okay, so it is now the end of the day. The dev stream has just finished up and there was no teaser for what is coming. Um, so that is going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully this brought a little bit more information to your minds and thoughts uh, for what you think uh, could be coming in the next update. I uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day and hopefully next week or in the coming weeks we'll see more teasers and more features for the 1.3 update coming on November the 13th. I'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your day.